Cause I'm a pimp, girl. If you want me, I'm a Y'all, wait a minute. Y'all thought I was recording. So I um just pulled out a out of Jolly Bee. I got the one piece uh chicken joy with spaghetti and a pineapple juice. And I also got and I got the spicy chicken. First of all, why did I have no breasts? That's what I wanna know. How you gonna be a chicken place? And you don't have no breasts. They talking about they only got legs and thighs. Like, I ain't never heard nothing like that. <laughs> so y'all just order a whole bunch of legs and a whole bunch of thighs. Okay. That's probably why my thing was $18. I ain't even get nothing. I got a peach mango pie and then I got the Palabac Fiesta. It came out to be $18. Jolly Bee. Jolly Bee. You're on my list. And not the good one, because why the fuck I just got $18? I got three things. But I guess chicken places always be expensive like that. But anyways, I thought I recorded it. I thought I was recording myself in the drive-thru, but I wasn't. So I gotta go, cause I gotta do my navigation cause I don't know where I'm at. So bye y'all, I'll be back while I'm eating. Hey you guys, I know y'all happy to see me again. So y'all better be. Well, I'm happy to be recording this video. So I'm at home now and I have my Jolly Bee. Let me get this receipt out because they got me this $18. Oh, I can't say that on here. They got me messed up with this $18. Okay, so the first thing I got that I'm gonna try, what is this? So this is the Mm, it smells good. Got a little rice noodle in it. Looks like some, some kind of meat on top. So this is what it looks like. Look at these eggs. Why the yolk so, why the yolk so big? <laughs> Got a little shrimp on it. I ain't never had fast food shrimp. This is going to be interesting, y'all. What is this? Lemon juice? What do I do with the lemon juice? All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna try though, is, which is what I was most excited about, is the chicken. Oh, I got two pieces of chicken. Okay, that's why it's $18. I thought I only got one piece of chicken. But I got two pieces of chicken and spaghetti. The spicy kind, cause I gotta have my spicy. So I got this. So let's go ahead and try it. Oh, and I also got the peach pie, the peach mango pie and pineapple juice. I think it's hella lit that they have the option that you can get pineapple juice because I don't drink soda. So usually when I go to fast food places, I just don't get a drink. But they got pineapple juice. And it's like real pineapple juice. That's good. Okay, so I'm really excited to try this Jolly Bee. Y'all, I don't like spaghetti, typically speaking. Like, I'm not a spaghetti eater by any means. Like, I don't like spaghetti. Like, when my mom used to make spaghetti when I was little, I had to make my own. I had to make something of my own because I wasn't eating that. And that's really, fun fact, that's really how I got started cooking. Like, <laughs> at such a young age because... I sometimes I just wouldn't like what was prepared and I wanted something different. So being difficult, but hey, that's where that's where we are today. So yeah. But I'm gonna try this because I don't know. Like I can eat I like spaghetti. Like it's just we had I feel like we had it so much that I just didn't want it no more. Like, you know. I was just I, I think I got I got bored with it. That's what it was. I got very bored with spaghetti and I just didn't want to eat that anymore. So yeah, I've been on a spaghetti strike for pretty much my whole life. So we're going to try this today. It looked pretty good. It got like wieners in it though. I'm not one to like talk about different cultural foods. Like, I'm not the kind of person to like say food is like nasty. I hate it when people say food is nasty. I hate it when people disrespect food. I don't like that. Like even if it's not good, like you just, you know. You close the plate and you 
quietly throw it away. You don't have to make a big scene if you don't like something. So I'm not the kind of person that's going to do that. I'm not bashing nobody's culture or nothing like that. So oh, let me tell y'all what Jollibee is in case y'all don't know. So Jollibee is a Filipino fast food chain. I believe it's Filipino. I'm positive it's Filipino filipino like fast food chain or whatever and i don't know how i first heard about it but they just brought one to texas like recently like probably like this past summer and i've been wanting to try it ever since so i'm really excited to try this with you guys today okay so i'm gonna eat now because i'm hungry and i really want to take a nap y'all i want to take a nap so bad i just got out of class well i just got out of my internship and i really just want to taking that before I start on my homework so but anyways I'm gonna eat some of the spaghetti see mm, 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 mm. Yeah, well, mm. can't have none hmm. this is actually pretty good it's sweet hmm the spaghetti sauce is very sweet and these sausages have a very um strange texture. Not strange, but it's a little bit foreign to me. Very like rubbery. Salty. Very chewy. They're not as soft as like wieners. So I don't know what kind of sausage that is, but pretty good i really want to try this chicken they give you a little gravy they give you a little gravy with the chicken i got spicy because y'all all like spicy food and they put like a little i'm gonna put it back they put like a little spicy flag to indicate that it's spicy that's nice in the chicken I'm trying to dip it. Mm. Somebody's Filipino auntie must be working in now. This chicken is good. This is really good for fast food chicken. It's not spicy though. Definitely not as spicy as like Popeye's. Um, Fried chicken, definitely not as spicy as that. It's mild to me. I mean, there's a slight kick at the end, like after you swallow. Hmm, it's good. This chicken is good though. For fast food chicken. I was really trying to figure out why my meal was $18. I was looking like, when she said $18, I was taking it back, girl. I almost left the drive through. I wasn't gonna leave the drive through. <laughs> Very tasty. So before I get full, I'm gonna try this. Oh, there's a bit more left. When they brought the food out, it was like as soon as they put, as soon as I grabbed it to get, put it in my car, it was so aromatic. It was so many different smells just wafted, being wafted in my face by the wind. It was great. Mm. Um, definitely not smells that I would um, say are familiar to me, though. Of course, I mean, I've never had any kind of Filipino food until now but I feel like like fast food is not a good it's not the of course it's not the best indicator of a culture's cuisines at all by any means it's fast food right so I'm not using this to just Filipino food at all because I'm sure Filipino food is bomb but again this is still fast food, so it's not going to be like super spectacular or anything like that, but it is good. It's pretty good. Um, the chicken is extremely flavorful. The spaghetti is flavorful 
it's very sweet though much sweeter than i expected of spaghetti so now i'm gonna try this this is called excuse me this is called palabok i don't know if i'm saying that right at all um i guess i could i guess i could get my ipad to figure out how to girl i don't know where that thing is it's in my room i don't feel like getting it right now so i'm gonna try this this is really what was smelling because they had this at the top so i could smell all of this it smells really good nice little rice noodle i'm gonna get some of this meat i don't know what kind of meat this is it might be pork and they got a little shrimp i'm gonna get a little shrimp too hmm that tastes nothing like I expected it to taste. <laughs> For some reason, I expected this to be sweet. But it's like a peanut sauce, I think, on top. It's, it's very, like, peanutty. I'm pretty sure this has peanuts in it as the main ingredient. Interesting. They put a little parsley on top, child. They go, okay, they know how to present some food. That's one thing I will say. I don't know how I feel about uh, these little slices of fast food egg, though. But they, I guess they put it on here for a reason, so maybe it tastes good with it. So let's try. With the egg. You know what I mean? So this one is definitely not my favorite. So I'm going to set this off to the side. This spaghetti, however. I'm... Excuse me. I'm messing with it. I'm messing with it for sure. Mm -mm -mm. I really like this spaghetti. I've never been the kind of person to eat like the like spaghetti or like the um, tetrazzini with fried food. Like I've never understood that. But apparently that's like a thing. People just eat like fried meat like chicken or fish with like spaghetti i think that's so strange like as a side so this is a little bit strange for me eating spaghetti as a side because <laughs> like that's a main dish or at least it was in my household big old pot of spaghetti eating on it for days child torture complete torture i am not mad at this spaghetti but it very much feels like um, a children's meal because of the wieners. <laughs> like wieners aren't something. Wieners aren't something that I really associate with adults eating, especially not in spaghetti. Like it's like a ground meat or a meatball usually. So the sausage thing is interesting. Well, I guess that's not true because some like Italian sausage and stuff like that. So I guess it's kind of like that, but that's a wiener. Basically, like essentially it's very wienerish in terms of how it looks. Like visually speaking, it just looks like a wiener. So I'm going to try this now. Mm. Wow. I love sweets. It's so hard to make a nasty dessert. It's not that hard, actually. But this right here is delicious. It's As soon as I bit into it, it was just like a burst of flavor and butteriness and sweetness and fruit. Absolutely delicious. This is like the best crunch ever. this is it this reminds me a lot like a lot a lot of how mcdonald's apple pies used to taste when i was little 
because I think they changed something about them in recent years. But this tastes a lot like those pies used to taste. Very good. Mm. Ten out of ten. That's so good. Maybe I can make a video of me making something like that. But I'm I'm really not a baker though. Like I love to cook, of course, but I'm not really a baker. Like I have I'm not limited in what I can do as far as baking. I'm limited in what I will do and want to do <laughs> in baking. Like I'm just not a baker. Baking takes a lot of patience. I like to just put everything together and leave it alone. I don't want no parts of being, I don't want to be a part of the process. I want my food to do its thing. <laughs> but baking, whole different arena. And I feel like it takes a lot more patience um, and consideration. And I'm just not in a place in my life where I want to give any of those things to my food. <laughs> this is so funny. But yeah, I'm just really not a baker. I mean, I love sweets though which is my whole problem. Like I'd much rather just go out and buy something than make it. Cause I just love, I love sweets so much. Mm. Oh, I'm looking at my receipt. So they only got the one piece on here, but they gave me two pieces. All right, Jolly B, trying to get me to come back. This um, Calabac was $5.99. Why are you texting me? Why did I drop my what? That must be a spam number because I don't know who that is. But yeah, this was $6. And I personally don't really like it. Um, It just tastes like peanuts in a sauce with some noodles. Not a huge fan. But anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys about... Um, first of all, since my last video that I did like this, I told y'all I was going to be consistent. Y'all see I've been uploading because I'm going to be uploading three times a week. Um, I'm thinking that like when I do like sit downs and actually sit down and eat with you guys that I will, um, that'll just be like a bonus video for that week because these videos are so easy to throw together. So um, yeah, these will probably be bonuses, like, on Mondays, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday will be the days that I upload, like, my actual cooking videos. And I think that's how I want to do it. I'm very much trying to find my rhythm on YouTube. So, yeah, this is just part of the process. I think I've gotten three new subscribers since um, my last upload. And I was so excited about those three subscribers because I was stuck at like 50 something subscribers for the longest. And I was just like, oh my gosh, like why can nobody, why is nobody subscribing to me? So those three subscribers made me happy. Honestly, I don't care if I have one subscriber, like, I low-key like uploading videos and making content because I be bored. Like, it's literally nothing else to do with my life other than, like, school. And I feel like, I feel like school is good and all, but it's so important to have hobbies outside of school because otherwise, you literally become consumed by schoolwork and that shit is not healthy, like... Hmm. I don't even know why people act like like when you're in school that's all you need to be doing like no 
do something else because just doing school stuff will drive you insane. And I've been through undergrad already, so I don't want to be insane in grad school. So y'all ain't about to drive me insane. I like my peace. I like having my stuff that I like to do on the side, like completely separate from school. Even my friends at school, like school friends, classmates, acquaintances. No, you cannot be a part of my everyday life. Like, absolutely not. I just, no, I need, I need, I'm the kind of person who needs that separation. Otherwise, I will go insane. So, yeah, no offense to nobody out there if y'all seeing this child, but I got to have my escape from academia because I'd be tired. This chicken is bomb. This gravy. Mm. I am Rick. I watched this movie the, the other day. It was some kind of movie about Thanksgiving, but it was like a scary movie. It was on Hulu. And they started playing that song. They started playing that song when people was dying and being killed. Out of nowhere, they just started killing everybody. Yeah. Out of nowhere. They just started killing everybody. And then next thing you know, the music that you hear is, I am grateful for the things that... I said, I know y'all are not putting no Hezekiah Walker over people dying. <laughs> like, what is this foolishness? That movie is so ridiculous. I don't know what it's called. It was about Thanksgiving. These pilgrims came to this, to these um, people's houses. And they were supposed to be like impersonators or like they hired some like impersonators or something. But the impersonators never showed up. But these like real like pilgrim people showed up and in place of them. And was just killing everybody. Like that movie was ridiculous. They were doing all kind of weird stuff like setting up uh, outhouses in the backyard and cutting wood and chopping wood. Like it was so, that movie was so strange. Zero out of ten. <laughs> that movie was so weird. No, I give it a one just because I thought it was very funny that they put that song in there. Like who who black was involved in this movie? <laughs> it couldn't have been nobody black involved in that movie. <laughs> oh my gosh. I still don't understand the combination of chicken with spaghetti. I don't get it. Maybe it's just not more for me to get. Maybe it's just for me to enjoy. Oh. Something else I wanted to talk about. Jolly Bee don't have no breasts. They only got legs and thighs. Like, those are the only parts that they sell. I was, like, confused. Like, why wouldn't you have the whole chicken? <laughs> like, I don't understand that. I don't get it. I mean, I ain't mad because I like a little leg and a little thigh, but I really was craving a breast today. This is some good fast food chicken. Mm. I know that rice is like super big and um well I feel like rice is a big part of like a big um thing in every culture but I ain't never seen no rice at a, fa at a at like an American fast food place but they had rice on the menu that's not true because Popeye's got rice. But that's like Creole. But I've never seen like plain white rice like at a fast food place. They had plain white rice there. Um, and I thought that was interesting. 
I mean, obviously, we eat rice in America, duh. But, uh, I ain't never seen it at a fast food place. I was like, hmm, interesting. I guess it would be good with a little gravy. That is a common side for chicken. Much more common than spaghetti in my life. Mmm. Mmm. But yeah, I ain't want nothing. I just wanted to show you guys what I got from Jollibee my first time going. Oh, I wanted to know what this lemon juice was for. What am I supposed to put the lemon juice on? Am I supposed to put it on this? Because this needs a little bit more flavor. Like, this, the flavor of this uh, Polybock, I guess that's how you say it, it's very, like, monotone, low-key. I think that's why I wasn't really feeling it like that. I don't know. Let's try it. I'm gonna try it real quick. I'm gonna put a little, a little, a little, 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 little. I'm gonna put a little lemon juice on here. Oh, I could really add it to my pineapple juice. That would be good. All right, so I put some lemon juice on my polybock. Let's see if that adds any flavor. Cause I don't really like this, not gonna lie. The acidity definitely adds something. Adds a little bit more zhuzh, I guess. I don't know. Am I supposed to put it in the spaghetti? Or am I supposed to put it on the chicken? Let's try it in the spaghetti. Cause I, it would kind of make sense to put it in the spaghetti since it's so sweet. Or maybe I just put lemon juice in there like we put like uh, McDonald's put ketchup in the bag, I guess. I don't know. Alexa, why does Jolly Bee give you lemon juice? Here's something I found on the web. According to hotpages.com, lemon juice is an antibacterial and antifungal agent for reducing acne problems. Did that answer your question? So lemon juice definitely adds something to this uh what you call it? The spaghetti. It definitely makes it it's still sweet, but it definitely like balances it out, like kind of mellows it out a little bit. Alexa, why does Jolly Bee give you lemon juice? Hmm, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna figure this out real quick. Let's ask Siri, child, since Alexa don't know. No shade. Wait, why was somebody, why somebody, uh, why was a common search? Why does Jolly Bee exist? <laughs> so I guess the lemon juice is based, it's just, they just want to get, they give it to you because they want to. It's just a condiment. They just, Use it as a condiment, I guess. Like ketchup. That's interesting. I just squeezed some on my chicken, so let's taste that. Mm. They on to some. They on to some. With the lemon juice on the chicken. Mmm. Child, I might have to make a Jolly Bee inspired recipe. I like it. I like that. I like that a lot. This chicken is good. The skin is like perfectly crispy. Sensational. Mm. 
All of this tastes really good together. I'm starting to understand why this is such a um, such a common combination in some areas because things are tasting really good right now, okay? I should have got a whole bucket of chicken. Next time I'm gonna get a six piece. Cause this is good. Mm. So this video will probably go up today or tomorrow. Um, if I'm done with my homework in time tonight, then it'll go up tonight. If not, it'll be up tomorrow. And then I still might do um, three more videos plus this one. So. We'll see how that works out. If that's not how it works out, just know it was school's fault. It wasn't my fault. It was school's fault. Okay. Let me take a moment to breathe. And then I'll be out here. This pineapple juice. I'm just going to put the rest of this lemon juice in this pineapple juice. Just because I know it's going to be fine. Perfect. All right, you guys, that's all for this video. Make sure y'all are subscribed to my channel because I'm not playing anymore. I'm not playing games with you. If you see this video, that means you need to subscribe because it's a reason. Everything happens for a reason. If you made it to this point, you need to you need to already be subscribed. You should have subscribed when you clicked on the video. But since you didn't, do it now. Excuse me. Burp. Yeah, but that's all for this video, you guys. I'm not going to bully you guys anymore. I'll talk to y'all later. Mm, and I'll see y'all in my next video. I think next time. What I mean next time? What y'all want me to eat? Or cook or whatever. Let me know. Because I'm going to do it. Tomorrow, I got a video of, I think I'm my marinara sauce. No, jerk chicken is tomorrow. So, y'all be on the lookout for Ari's jerk chicken, Chanel's kitchen. And, yeah, that's all for this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for my next video because there will be a next one because I'm consistent now. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Deuces. Whoa, whoa. I can wait.